ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Hand of Fate. One fight remains, one artifact to obtain. The deck is stacked against you, but you have come this far. We now fight the King of Scales. The curses for this combat include Hungry Blades. Whenever a weapon ability is used, the player consumes one food. And Skin Rash. The player draws from the pain deck on every fourth step. He's not kidding. The deck is definitely scaled against us this time. We have to move quickly. There's not going to be time to explore. Every fourth step is going to be painful. He's also included four additional six of scales and four rusty axes. Which makes me think that my weapon is going to be not very useful for this time around. So the King of Scales, Lelore. He has lived since before humans came to this place. Mighty, lonely and dangerous beyond measure. This lizardman battled creatures that slithered from the outer darkness. From the very hells themselves. You should run. This is the King of Scales. He has lived since before humans came to this place. Mighty and lonely and dangerous beyond measure. He cannot win. Alright, our deck consists of 38 cards. Mortal Whimsy, now that I know what it does, I, I don't care about it anymore. I, that's a random weapon every time. I think I'd rather have a weapon I can rely on, really. We have the soldiers for... Uh, we're going to put that in. I definitely want to have that. I gotta say, that Feathered Ice was really nice when I had it. And I definitely want the Ring of Engorging in order to... see what that is. One health per blessing. Yeah, let's get rid of that. And... That was actually kind of nice. Uh, gain card is one gold and two health. Ah, we don't need that. Alright, so we're good there. Let's look at the encounter cards. The Ratman hunting we should no longer have. Which means we can have a bunch more cards in our deck. Because normally the Ratmen take about three spots. Um, let's see. How do I want to play this? So I definitely have a lot more I can do now. Yeah, I see the Ratman hunting are here. And three of them. I like the Lizard Dome. That's been very useful so far. I don't have to choose the strongest combat in order to win it anymore. I'm going to take out the Guildmaster, the Priest, in order to put in Charity. Take out Bandit Attack. Blacksmith. Take out the Forge and the Ore. dare I put in? Uh, let's see. Secret Society. Let's put in the Trader. Uh, do I want Lost in the Desert in here? Local Peasant and Wise Fury. Winding Trail hasn't been that bad, actually. He put that in the last encounter, and he put those in himself, and they were actually pretty good. Uh, it was just quick combat that I was able to fight and get some items out of. I need to move quickly, so I want to keep in the Apprentice. Because the Apprentice is a way to get out. 
I put in blood auction, so let's take out the stranger in the shadows. I'll do it that way. I think we're good here because I need to move quickly and loss in the desert can be really painful if I fail it. The dagger, my final symbol. Can you take it from me? Even if you can, could you turn it against me? I, who know it's every mystery, I think Here we are at the gates of finality. You or I must die. Why has it got to be that way, man? Why? All right, Wrath of the Old Gods. At the beginning of every battle, the Old Gods throw down thunder upon one of your enemies. So they'll randomly strike some, uh, something down or hurt it for me, which is good. What tales do you tell these feeble sots? The same ones I read from your past? Find yourself in a seedy old tavern, spinning tales of your adventurers to a group of drunks. A bearded old soldier scoffs at your tales and challenges to you to arm wrestle. Ah, uh, yes, this, where I can wager against anything he has. Uh, I don't have gold to wager, I can wager my Helm of Hindsight. Which, since I'm moving quickly, I don't think I need it. Let's do it, let's wager my helmet against his gold. 50-50. Oh, dear. Um... Darn. You lose. Many thanks for this magical helm, friend. Oh, uh, well. Lost my headgear. It's fine. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I'm here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Oh, I really don't want the Jack of Plague. I really don't. But last time I chose the strongest minion, he had me fight everything else instead. I am an idiot on that one. Alright, so yeah, he said he's I'm no hero, he's gonna let me face my choice. Alright, so Jack. I think I'm dead. Is bad. Damn. Whew. Okay. All right. Okay. I did it. Beat Jack. We're good. All right, good, 10 food, that is so helpful. All right, get an equipment card, Fortune's Breath, great, that's less food to use. Really? Is that what you're going to do? Oh, you know it is. Because you're going to give me Will pain you cards. you the same choices as you did before? <sighs> Approach by the proprietor. All right, so he wants me to take the gold again. So I can do that. I can't afford to lose half my health, though, with the pain cards he's going to be dealing with me. I need to move fast. He will replace a card. The question is, does he replace one behind me? The odds are likely that he will, which is going to take more of my time and make me draw more of those pain cards. I need equipment, though, and this is a good way to get some of it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to go for it. It's going to put it I further away. Long and hard to make that particularly painful. Ingenious, don't you think? Indeed. Oh, wow. He didn't put it that far away from me. That's easy. There's my curse. Ten health per curse. Damn. Okay, cool. Let's give him the hundred gold.
Scavenger's cap. Uh, whenever you gain food, you also receive 45% extra food. I'm kind of okay on food. What's Thunderstrike? We haven't seen that before. 35 damage. An ancient artifact, honored in song and story. Oh, we haven't seen the lightning property. Okay, every strike inflicts lightning damage. And the left bumper uh, calls for lightning to strike around you. Equipment with this trait crackles with the thunder of the gods. Even mages tremble at the sight, uh, fearing a powerful power beyond their kin. Oh, well, that's cool. Let's try it. You know what? We haven't had a lightning weapon. He's got rusty axe cards in this deck, and I'm afraid of what's going to happen when I pull them. I wonder if they're just going to be bad equipment cards, like when I get a, an equipment choice. I have not thought of my own mortality in an age or more. Now you force me face to face with it. Let's see what we've got. I want to get rid of one of these curses, but I don't think I can. It's going to be way too expensive. Yeah, nothing really. He's only got one food card here. I can't buy healing. Let's just get out of here. Alright, I'm going to go... What? Wandering Mistrals. I swear I've heard this tale before, from other lips than yours. One day on a long country road, you meet a pair of wandering minstrels. The pair inquires to your current needs, explaining that they have many interesting and unique talents. So I can request a song. Ask for information about the road ahead. I kind of tinted on that one, just because of the way this map is playing out. I need to know where to go. I can request food. I think I'm good there. Tell them I have no need. So, the wandering minstrels almost seem like Merith. I wonder if there's a twist, though. Um, Merith was really nice. Uh, she's a really nice card. I don't think I'm ever taking out, just because it's always health, food, bless, anything I really need. Song might be a blessing type, really. Let's ask about the road ahead. The minstrels tell you what they have seen in their recent travels. Excellent. All right, there's some good cards at the top. The Cave Rescue and the Lizard Dome were really great cards for me to get equipment. But again, the longer I linger, the worse off I'm going to be. Going down, that's excellent, because the Maze of Traps is a great way to get equipment, and it's not that hard of a card. And then there's the Exit Portal, so we're going to go that way. Afterwards, I request payment for their services. Oh, I can pay them half my gold, half of my food, offer them nothing but compliments. I don't think that's going to work. Um... I don't have a lot of gold. Let's just give them half my gold. The minstrels count their coins and then bid you farewell. We are heading to Kadea next. The Duke is holding a victory celebration requiring the services of fine entertainers such as ourselves. Perhaps we'll see you there. Okay. I don't get anything out of that. I really wonder what you would get from there. Maybe asking for a song. Let's go to the Maze of Traps. Here we go. Oh, uh, what? Ugh. Not bad. I got hit by one thing. I'm not sure how I got hit by that one thing, but it's okay. Not a lot. Uh, not a lot of problems there. We're going to get some equipment cards. Three gain cards, 15 gold. Discard or put back on top, huh? Um, oh, the Ring of Engorging and the Skeleton King's Order in here. Oh, that's what it was. It was a sword. I thought it was armor. Darn, that would have been nice to have on the last run. I had his helm. I had a shield. I would have loved to have had the weapon, too. Uh, I want this on top, really, because I want that ring if I can get it. So let's go put that on the top. 
draw two, select one to keep. So there we go. Um, well, at least I get to use the sword this time. Uh, Ring of Engorging. Player receives double the Fat food. And poor. An unusual combination. I guess it's one way to approach the world. Indeed. Interesting card. Interesting ring. You receive double the food, but half the gold. Oh, that's kind of cool. Um, that's really useful for long runs. Um, I'm pretty good on food. What does the sword do for me again? Oh, it drains health. Yeah, give me that sword. Oh, wait. Darn it. Um, I forgot I have Thunderstrike. <sighs> oh, well. I'll hold on to it for now. Because I don't know what the Rusty Axe is going to be. Uh, they could just be now, bad equipment cards. What brings you to play the game? Okay, I winding know you trail. Will not tell me, like all the rest, you are silent. Four dust, four scales. We can handle this. Let's try my new weapon, my wonderful thunder strike. And bumper. Hmm, it's kind of the same thing as some of the other items, but it's got the lightning effects on it. Which is kind of neat. Ah, oh, you bastard. I'm probably going to put on the sword so I can drain health. And I'm going to do that because I've lost a good amount of health already and he's going to keep drawing me pain cards. Oh, it doesn't go as far as I thought it did. I thought I hit that. Yeah, I definitely need the uh, Skeleton King sword at this point. Thunderstruck! Alright, alright. Sword it is. Thank you, maximum health. Excellent. Oh, that's right. Okay, the bad fortune is from drawing from the pain deck. Ah, a smith. And well met, too. One I'm day. glad to see you have some respect for the creator of your tools and weaponry. One day on your travels, you come to Graven Vale's blacksmith. The blacksmith is unable to work. He must leave in search of his son, who disappeared while exploring nearby caves. Can you help me find him? I'd be very grateful. Since his mother died at the hands of a bandit, he's all I have left. All right, let's try and find his son. Great, let's go now. An hour later, the two of you reach the entrance to the caves. Peering into the darkness, you are filled with a sudden dread. Look, here are his footprints going in, the blacksmith says. He's about to run inside, but you hesitate. Your long years of traveling Your long years of traveling have given you an instinct for sensing trouble, and these caves reek of it. Reluctantly enter or refuse. Reluctantly enter. Slowly, you walk into the darkness. Strange sounds echo from within bouncing off the rock walls and hinting at whatever monstrous horrors dwell in the depths. I think I can hear him! This way! The blacksmith charges into the darkness. You try to follow, but soon lose him in the darkness. You stand alone in the dark depths of the caves. Uh-oh. Uh, 
And now I don't know what anything is. Oh no. This one. Nicely done. Thank you. You are drawn to torchlight up ahead and discover the blacksmith and his son together, surrounded by a group of dead creatures. My papa killed these beasts, but there's more coming, says the boy. The blacksmith is clearly injured and can barely stand. Something has me think that if I would have drawn a failure card or a huge failure card, they might have died to the creatures that assaulted them before I got to them. This boy speaks the truth, says the blacksmith. If you fight them here, give us a chance to get out. I'll be greatly in your debt. Here they come! The well, here they come, the boy yells. Yeah, the father. I got that wrong. He yells it in fear. The blacksmith and his son stumble out of the cave as best they can, away from the danger. Ah, the Rat Man King. I am delighted to see him once more. Really? I just fought him! Oh no, this is bad. I'm going to have to use my uh, sword to the best of my ability and drain as much health as possible. This will not be easy. Ow! Okay, yeah, that's a bad combination of attacks that I do not want to get caught up in. Let's run away as far as I can. Oh, gods. Yeah, that one is going to be trouble, because that one gave me a lot of problems before. Not like that shadow step. Okay, let's try and draw him in. I gained three health from that, so it's not a lot, but that is honestly going to keep me alive right now. Was there another contraption? No. Alright, let's run around in a circle and try and catch from behind. Or not. That hurt. That really hurt. This encounter is tough. He's giving me a lot of the bosses in every fight I have to do. So I'm doing my best to kind of... separate them. only worth one. This is really hurting. Get out of that, get out of that, get out of that. 17 health. I am not sure I'm going to be able to beat this. This may be it. This might be the one that does me in on this one. Okay, I got him. Now her. I'm just going to exploit everything I possibly can because I am in deep trouble. I really didn't figure out how to beat her last time because she's got this attack whenever I get too near that I didn't think I could counter.
Yeah, see that right there? Ow. And that burned me. Oh no, 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 no. I got nothing out of that. This is bad. Can I win just by reflecting? I can only hope. Did I not gain any health from that? Come on. Come at me, bro. Health? No. I'm getting nothing from that. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't prolong the inevitable. I have a feeling I'm dead no matter what. Wow, that was close. Oh, wow. And I got the close shave achievement for that. After the battle, you follow the blacksmith and his son to the surface. I owe you a great debt, friend, says the blacksmith, and the token is mine. Give me a chance to heal these wounds, then visit me whenever you need some equipment. Roaming ever forward, hunting for the truth. I have no food. I have some gold. Did you expect me to tell your fortune? No. A fortune teller is at their most base and despicable when they begin to believe their own lies. Oh, gods, I forgot about Hungry Blades. I am different. My powers are genuine. Ouch. If only you had a meal. Oh, a man. A sad way to end. I had such challenges prepared for you. Oh. Such is life. I honor our deal. You win, and you gain reward. Even though I now work against myself. Of course, I completely forgot about the other one. The other... Oh. That hurts. That really hurts. And unfortunately, if I would have had a little more health at the end of that, I might have been able to survive long enough to at least get to the food tray. Oh, man. For helping the blacksmith find his son, you receive the guild ring and the blacksmith's gratitude. Well, that was short, unfortunately. I worked against myself, trying to be clever and gain some food, gain some health by using my weapon skill, and that ended up costing me food, and I died of starvation. Would have been better to go out in the blaze of combat, eh? Well, ladies and gentlemen, that was a disappointing end, but hopefully you found it amusing. We're going to continue. We're going to keep trying. This has been a tough one. He's going to keep throwing bosses at me. And I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to have to choose my opponents wisely. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I look forward to seeing you again.